A couple days ago, I went to Nando's Chicken, and I realized that their peri-peri sauce has zero calories. So I bought a bottle of this, and today we're going to make a Nando-style peri-peri meal. This is what I ate that day at Nando's, which is peri-peri chicken with spiced rice and Brussels sprouts. This meal has 359 calories with 40 grams of protein. First, we're going to make the peri-peri chicken. This has a prep and cook time of 20 minutes. This is 750 grams of boneless, skinless chicken breast. We're simply going to cut this into cubes. This should take you no longer than 5 minutes to do. Now, I'm not going to come up here and start talking about how this chicken is as good as Nando's chicken, because it's not. There's no skin, no oil, and not flame broiled. But it does have the peri-peri flavor. After the chicken's been cubed, we're going to add in salt, pepper, and a couple spices, and of course, our Nando's peri-peri sauce. We're going to mix this thoroughly until the color changes and you have a choice to let it marinate or just cook it right away. I placed this evenly on an aluminum foil tray and I broiled it in the oven for 10 minutes. Your broil setting should be around 500 degrees Fahrenheit. After 10 minutes, this is what the chicken looked like. Now we're going to make the spiced rice. This is a prep and cook time of 25 minutes. With our converted white rice, we're going to add in our garlic powder, salt, cumin, turmeric, and Italian dry herbs. Then, we're going to top this all off with chicken stock. If you can't find converted or parboiled rice, you can use basmati as a substitute. This rice will be cooked in a rice cooker and we're going to set it and forget it. While our rice is cooking, we're simply going to cut this bell pepper into quarter inch cubes. In the Nando spiced rice, the bell peppers is cooked in with the rice. But for this spiced rice, right after the rice has been cooked, we're gonna throw in our peas and red peppers and give it a mix. The reason why I'm doing this is because if you cook this in with the spiced rice, it becomes very soggy and gross, and after a couple hours, it's dead. Finally, we're going to make our Brussels sprouts. This is the prep and cook time of 40 minutes. In this bowl of Brussels sprouts that has been cored and cut in half, we're going to add in our olive oil, garlic powder, and salt and pepper. This will be given a thorough mix and then placed onto a tray evenly and straight into the oven. This will be roasted in the oven for 30 minutes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. To save time, you should be making your rice while this is cooking. If timed properly, you should be able to make this whole meal in less than one hour. Once the Brussels sprouts are done, it's ready to plate. Alright, so here's our peri-peri meal after it's been microwaved for 2 minutes. Again, I'm not gonna come up here and say that this chicken is better than the Nando's chicken, cause it's not. This is obviously a healthier version. But as for the spiced rice, this definitely tastes like the Nando spiced rice, and I think it's even better because it wasn't sitting in a Bay Marie the whole day. And as for the Brussels sprouts, it's obviously not as good because it's better when you're eating it right when it comes out of the oven roasted. But it still tastes good, the texture's just not there. 